Welcome back to Feropolis. We are in Germany for Iron Drift King. It is game day where the battles kick off. Top 64. Yesterday, well, you can go back and watch that video. It was uh, eventful. Okay. Over to the bar. It's a little bit bent, I think. But... We crashed the car, found out uh, stuff about how it runs and how it works. But today, I gotta stop messing around. I gotta have my game face on because there's some brilliant drivers here. And I'm getting used to the car fast, but maybe not fast enough. Wish us luck. Here we go, Iron Drift King. practice and I was just gunning it in, in the chase position just came off the, the clutch pretty heavy onto the power and then heard this all like da, 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 da. you guys hear it on the on the onboard but then I drove after the guy and it still had power it still was in gear it was still making noise I was like it was a shaft I wanted to feel what it was before I came back in to tell the boys because we got little time but it's going into gear it's got power it's not a shaft so something's rattled itself loose in the gearbox or somewhere along Sounds pretty bad. You can hear that actually. Yeah, yeah, you can hear it. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh. Wait, a small gun with a 17 for the ones on top. Yeah. And if you put them some long, long sleeves, you won't burn your arms on the gearbox. So the saving grace of this particular super build is it's a custom tunnel which allows the gearbox to drop really easy and it's all on valves. So you don't need to bleed the whole system, you can just drop the gearbox out. But What's wrong with the gearbox is my worry, if there's something there that we don't have. So, fingers crossed. Nervous. I'm going to do a nervous poo now, I think. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see what a Samsonis gearbox looks like on the inside. But we didn't want to. We didn't really want to put this in the video, but we're gonna see. You guys, slap it. There we go. Yeah. That's our fucking problem. This uh, is a lip that holds the oil squirter, and the lip's broken, so this is just rattling to the gears. But it can do fine without an oil pump for a few laps. So. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was that, but... No, it's still happening, yeah. 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 Gearbox is not broken, but there's some rattle in it that we don't have time to diagnose right now. So it's good, but we just need to service it and maintain it. If we open the box up again, we're going to run out of time and not get to our battle. So thank you to Basmol. He's going to donate us a gearbox. We're going to put it in the car for today. And then we'll hopefully be able to take the box apart. If we get through to tomorrow, we can take the box apart and fix our one. If not, I get knocked out today. We can just swap it back in and we can fix it when we get back home. But 
Oh, just doesn't settle the nerves a lot before you go back to see, go to your first ever competitive battle in the car. But I guess this is the reality of pro drifting, and we're here for it. So let's hope we get it going. So we are 12 minutes away from battles and we still need to fuel the car and the new gearbox is not fitting exactly the same way as the old gearbox so you can hear uh, this is worrying times we might miss the first battle which will put us in the losers bracket for the second battle but hopefully we can make it stressful and also I'm gonna have no gear selector so the electronic gear selector on the dash that shows the Samsonis gearbox what gear you're in I won't have that so I'm gonna have to go to neutral first and then remember what gears I'm in for the whole thing so yeah it's gonna be stressful So battle start at 11, with three minutes to get to the gridding area. Our battle is the fourth battle up, so we've probably got another 10, 15 minutes on top of that. We still have to fuel the car, but if we can get it, we'll send it. Um, yeah, rattled, a little bit rattled now, yeah. So we can start the show now, so uh, hopefully we can be in it. We made it. Oh man, that's stress. We got the full pro driver experience this weekend. Gearboxes, crashes, stress. <sighs> What's up, brother? You ready? We're ready now. Yeah? We just did a gearbox in 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, half an hour. So this is the man I'm battling this weekend uh, in the first battle, and he has a very conventional car. It's a Mercedes wagon, all clamshell rear end. And in the engine bay, it's a diesel. So you have 1,200 Newton meters of torque. Yeah, and 5.5 uh, bar of turbo boost. And, uh, Sorry, 5.5 bar of boost. Yeah, I have about 80 psi, 79 psi. Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was doing well with my two bar of boost over here. <laughs> but it works really good. Yeah, Can yeah, you enjoy really. It? Yeah. How's, it, how's it to drive? Uh, now I think it's really good. Really good. Yeah, it's uh, good. That's not what we want to hear. <laughs> <No>. That's what. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna enjoy it. Good luck. The Irish represented David Garvey had to bring a Corolla to the party. Turns up 1000 horsepower everywhere. SR Corolla. Living the dream. 420 horsepower. Ah, but you see, the tires are all the same, so you've got a shot. Everyone's got a shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, my power is useless on those tires, so I think everybody's in it. We did a battle yesterday in practice, and like your car is pretty fast. Yeah, no, it is very, very fast. But it just wants to kill you the whole time. It's just like so snappy. So. I think we're all in that boat at this track. Yeah, yeah. So best of luck. Yeah. Flying the flag for the Irish this weekend. Hopefully, we can get through to our top 32 battles. What are we, are we swapping them around? Or is Dave lining up? So they should be starting one behind the other, but I'm wondering if maybe we've already run into a bit of an issue to uh, to start. It does look like Dave Egan might be getting a buy run here to kick things off. Yeah, I know what we wanted, but we had a bad luck warning, bad luck yesterday, so maybe we got a bit of luck there. But look, first win, not a proper win though, but we'll take it because we need to do some fine tuning. The gearbox has changed. Uh, first, the gearbox has changed the ratio 
from what we had yesterday, so now it's much longer, so we need to shorten it a little bit. But first win, and we're into 32. We're one more win away from 16. We'll take it, we'll take it. Feel sorry for him though. That was He broke a drive shaft in the burnout box. I could see it before he knew it. It was only spinning one wheel, and I was like, 1200 Newton means of torque. It'll do it. Let's take a break, get some water. That was a stressful couple of minutes. But thank you guys to get back out on time. And also, if you guys saw it on the GoPro, for getting Clint out with three seconds, I'd say. Your man was like just about to call it, and Clint went through. Did he get through? Yeah. yeah. It's Garvey spun, right? Yeah. But uh, you guys absolutely nailed it. Apologies for an early start and a lot of work, but we're in the 32. We didn't do much. We did. We got to the line, that's all we had to you do. You still didn't beat Josh now, you're still in the top 32. Yeah, I have to beat Josh, I have to get to 16. But um, do you know what, I'd actually like a little bit of time to chill out now because that was stressful and then when I didn't know whether he was running or not and then I thought they were going to let him run with one drive shaft I'm like what's going to happen here <laughs> so then luckily he made the call thankfully but uh, thankfully to these guys we made it to the track we got through and they did two gear between the five people here two three gearbox changes in 30 minutes now go to your local mechanic and tell him Wayne there now. All, all week Wayne, a bit. Wayne I saw on the internet there that you can do them in 30 minutes so uh, what's the story two days so uh, we're into 32, take a break. It is hot out here. Being Clint, I feel like this is really good. I'm not a lot of Yes. <laughs> Clint and I are top 32. The way the competition works is if either of us win or lose, whoever loses still gets in, goes into the competition the next stage. So we can have some fun, enjoy it. There's a good different chance that whoever loses ends up going to bed. Oh, God, right. All DBM cars, all in the same mix. You come against 64 drivers and you end up going against your teammate for the weekend. <laughs> It's always, it's always the same, always you know, the same. it's always. Well, it's going to be fun. Both of us are running fast cars, similar setup, so it should be well matched. It'll be fun. I'm, enjoy I'm looking forward to it. Then sometimes it's actually more difficult, I think, when you don't know the driver you're going against because you go not too sure what they're going to do, but at least with Clint, you know it's all going to be. So you go all out, you know, so you're fine. Oh, yeah, one and ten. The problem is I have to find that extra 10% <laughs> to stay away from him. I'll, I'll try my best to not uh, make any mistakes, but then, even if I do, he'll push me straight again anyway. <laughs> Just go for it. Go Don't for complain. It. Just go for it. Come on. It is the morning of the main event, and yet again, our team are confused. So we thought we were in top 16, but the format's very different here this weekend. So it looks like I'm now in top 32. Um, so I have to win my next battle to get into the top 16. Even though I thought I was in the top 16, I've got to do a lot of battles this weekend. So we're getting ready for practice. I'm going to try some new stuff. We didn't actually even know we had practice this morning. It wasn't on the schedule, but now they've added an hour of practice. So I'm going to go do some runs, just make sure the car is okay. Try some different techniques that I didn't try yesterday, like a little bit of left foot braking and just learning the car a little bit more. I get two to four runs now of just do whatever I want. And then we've got battles later on. So I'm going to try and take advantage of my extra seat time and try some new things. Hopefully keep it out of the walls. So car's had a couple of little maintenance fixes. Wayne and Craig have been on it. She should be A1. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm in the main event either way. So I really want to do well today. So hopefully practice goes well, keep it smooth, keep it tidy, and hopefully we've no more issues. But it's been a very dramatic weekend so far. So let's hope the drama from here is all positive drama. I'm even a little surprised we've got this far in the brand new car, but uh, we're going to have a very tough couple of battles ahead of us if we want to do well. Um, practice went well, I actually got a run with Johan Poitelaxo and the car felt pretty paced to his and I didn't mess it up, learned a few things myself, so I'm happy and uh, now it's time to put the helmet back on, it's so hot here, like it's like 34 degrees, like 40 something in the car, the boys are already on track, I gotta get ready and I gotta go. Oh, 
Kellogg. He gets it nicely into the second clipping zone there now to transition through into the third clipping zone around the second corner. Get some decent points there. Dave Egan goes through by one point. One point. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Thanks, Ethan! That's the first time I actually won and didn't hit anything. I think that was like my okay chase, but the lead was the best I think I've done this weekend. I don't know. You won a water. Yeah. That was everything I had. I, I tried to not be too aggressive on the lead, do the work after the first initiation, and I think it worked out. I left foot breaking in the lead, made it a little bit more precise. I think I was close to the walls, but I didn't hit the walls. I've won three battles in this car this weekend. That's insane. That's insane. I lost one by a point, so like I couldn't ask for more. This if anything happens for me, I don't give a shit anymore. That is bonus time now. Everybody else is going into the next battle is all pressure. I don't give a shit anymore. I've won enough for me. She is just such a car. It does everything I wanted to do, and it's instant. Like mess up on something, Ba bam! It's the way we go again. It's not like no delay. I love, I love this. This car has given me better memories in one weekend than every other drift car I've put together. Well, you guys built a hell of a machine. A hell of a machine. It even makes average drivers like me look like they know what's going on. So, no, but you're also driving the hell out of it. So at, at least you're not scoring it to be fancy. It's like just knocking frighteningly quick out there. Like when you're on full tilt, like you are like ah. But amazing. I need to get out of the suit, get some water. And get ready for the next battle. feels yes. more natural even just to be in the car. At least there is room for improvement every single run. How That's many events like. do you do that you get this many battles? Yeah. So you can learn and learn and learn. Yeah, this and is I'm fine. looking forward because I've commentated on you what, yeah. seven, eight years ago. So now we get to have a battle. That's so <laughs> cool, man. It's really It's cool. nice to be on the other side. Yeah. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm happy that you are on the other side because actually you're driving really good. I'm trying. That, that's really good. But I have there's no there's no like judges and commentators a lot in this in this community that they are drivers. True. Really good drivers. Yes. Kevin O'Connell would argue, but he'd, he'd be wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know it helps the commentary too because you see yeah, something happen and you go, sure. aha, I know what happened because I've done some all the mistakes I've made them, <laughs> so I can see when anyone makes a mistake. I'm like, I did that. I did this. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. High five. Yeah. Egan out front, Bartosz Stolowski. Okay, Dave Egan flicks 
Ooh. That's super in on a really nice line. Looks like he's getting a handle of this car now. And the transition, Bartos through the smoke, makes another dive on the side of the car. Doesn't quite manage to get the proximity I think he was aiming for. Dave Egan comes off of that clipping point a little bit early. Can he maintain the rest of it? It's not quite as deep as we perhaps would like to see in some of those lines. Solowski, and that's yeah. the end of the day for David Egan. You know what, though? Same thing. Just incredible job from Dave Egan. Well, Dave Egan, Dave Egan controls. He said you were going to be happy anyway. Yeah. So be I'm, happy now. I'm happy. He's really good, too. <laughs> and it's in one piece. It's in one piece. I didn't hit any walls. I don't know. I mistimed the initiation a little bit, and that was pretty much, he probably did better than me there. So I think between the last one and that one, I tried to do two different things on the run up, and both of them were wrong. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I learned though. But I'm happy. The car ran perfect. The gear, you're on. I can't tell what gear I'm in. No, but <laughs> any will do. Any will do. <laughs> but look, she's relatively in one. I did less damage today than yesterday. That's a good start. And. I think I went out swinging, I did as good as I could do. Yeah. I didn't make a major mistake and like totally messed it up. And Bartosz did a really good job. He was super smooth, I think, wherever he was. So I tried to dive, I tried to do some moves. It just didn't go exactly as I wanted to. So that's drifting, but we learned a lot. I think our lead runs got a lot better today than they were yesterday. And then you can be proud of I can be proud of it. A lot of progress, a lot of progress. Good job. And you guys kept this thing running. It never missed a beat. And like, it's hot. That's as tough a day on a car and a human as you're going to get. And I'm proud of the team. Proud of how we done. I mean, we did one, two, three, four, five battles. We won three, we lost two. First weekend, that's not so bad. So I'm gonna get out of the suit because it's 92% my own juices at this point. And 8% polyester probably. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, yeah. Um, I'm gonna chill out, I'm gonna watch the rest of the competition. I'm gonna cheer on Clint. And just sit back and realize that I don't have to be stressed anymore. I can just have a beer and relax now. And I've done a lot of driving this weekend. What an amazing event, team. We've learned so much, the car has so much potential. If that's the first day, we can imagine the third or fourth day. Priorities first. We're in the game. See you on the next one. <laughs>
Alright guys, fast forward a few days, we are here in Hungary, it is Driftmasters and we are getting ready for another event. It's been very, very hectic this year and it's probably been one of the most fast paced seasons we've ever had. So fast paced that I didn't even get to reflect on what happened in Iron Drift King. And I want to start by saying that it was my first weekend in the car and I think we made some really good progress. We learned a lot about the car, I learned a lot about my level of driving which needs to improve. And I think one of the things that you got to remember when you're watching YouTube videos or people driving, usually when you see a pro driver at a very, very top level, they've spent years and years and years getting to that level and then they're in the public eye obviously with YouTube we're filming everything so my times when I'm terrible when I'm learning when I'm not confident we're gonna show all that because I think it's a little bit more relatable but also it shows a journey of where we are now to where we want to be in a couple of months time and I think that with more training more practice we can do it we can get better we can obviously try and compete for podiums that's why I bought the car that's why I want to be driving that car the good thing we learned from Iron Drift King is that I do love the car. It's an amazing car. I think it's like a 10 out of 10. DBM have built a monster. And also I've got amazing people behind me from all the partners we have at Drift Games and all the products that they have on the car, but also Craig and Wayne for getting down and dirty throughout the entire event. DBM jumping in there, Bass Mull for loaning me a gearbox and everybody who gave me some encouragement through the weekend because it really helps when you've got a good vibe in the team to give you a positive outlook and not get too stressed out on the competition. I have a lot to learn. I'm not there yet. I'm not the finished product, but this is the first time I think in my entire drift career that I'm taking it seriously, that I want to get better, that I want to learn, that I want to learn from my mistakes. So watching back this video, I can see the same mistakes that you guys. And then probably two things that we didn't realize at the competition until we look back. One is, yes, I broke the gearbox. Essentially, I panicked. I was initiating behind the car in front of me and I knew because I hit the wall, if I didn't come on power, I went on power early, but then they were a little slower than I anticipated. So I put the power down, but I still had the handbrake on. That broke the gearbox. That's something I can't do again. And the second thing I learned was, I lost my battle because I put my front wheel over the white line. I put it over the white line on initiation. It lost me six points from the judges and it lost me the battle. I didn't have a spotter that weekend. I didn't want to overcomplicate it, but a spotter would have definitely saw me do that in previous runs and wanted me to correct it. So a lot learned, pretty happy about the whole thing. Didn't want to smack the back of the car, but it was going to happen at some point. And whether the car is hugely expensive or it's five grand, they're always doing the same thing. You're still trying to win the event and you're still gonna make mistakes. So it doesn't matter what I learned is whether you've got the most expensive car there, the least expensive car there, you're still trying to win the event. So we're always gonna have some bangs and some breaks and whatever. So right now we're getting the gearbox ready for an event in two weeks time in the UK. We're going to Castle Coombe for Forge Fest. We're really excited. Josh and I are gonna go there and do a demo. We also have Drift Masters in our next couple of videos because of Rusa and Connor competing. So it's all going off at Drift Games at the moment. Well, thank you guys for following the journey this year. It's been a very random one from the fire till now, but we're eating it up. We're we're trying to make as new experiences happen all the time and yeah trying to get better trying to learn and we're doing it in the public eye and we know there's going to be criticisms of everything we do but hey sometimes constructive criticism of you guys in the comments can help us find a solution so let us know what you thought of the entire video the event the car and my driving because we're going to try and get better each and every round all right let's see you on the next one